Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy F12 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the do not disturb mode. And to get started, pull down your notification panel and look for the toggle. So for me it looks to be on the second page, we're right over here. So once you find your toggle, do not disturb, you can tap on it to turn it on with whatever the default parameters are set to, uh, or you can also hold it. This will take you to the settings where you can customize how it functions. Now the customization can be done only once, uh, as long as you don't want to change anything. Uh, so when you go in here, we have for how long toggle, which allows you to choose what will happen when you tap on, uh, on the, the button right here. And we have option basically from until you turn off, so you have to turn it on and off yourself. We have a time specific one or ask every time, which will bring up the two options for you every time you tap on a toggle. And you can choose uh, at a given moment what you want to select. Then we below that we have the schedule. Uh, by default there is one already created, the sleeping one. You can create additional ones if you want to. Uh, it allows you to set every single day of the week that you want to uh, have the do not disturb mode to turn on. And also you can choose the, day, I mean, the time at which it starts and stops. Now, once, if you want to go with the schedule uh, mode, make sure you turn it on from here, like so. Uh, for the schedule one, you don't need to toggle anything here, like the do not disturb mode, you don't need to turn it on from here. Once you set up the uh, schedule right here and turn it on, it will turn on the do not disturb mode itself automatically, so you don't have to do anything. Then below that we have exceptions for calls, messages, conversations, alarms, sounds, and apps. So you can select which kind of apps, calls, or any kind of like that things can uh, give you signs of life during do not disturb mode. So as an example, if you want some kind of app to be excluded from uh, do not disturb mode, when do not disturb mode is running, you want notifications from that app, you will add that app into here. Same goes for sounds and alarms, you can select which ones will be allowed to go through and calls, messages and so on. I can choose who can call you, who can message you. Additionally, with repeat callers, it allows you to set up, for instance, calls to, as an example, no one. So no one can call you, but if you turn this on, uh, if someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period, first time around, you won't be aware of it, but the second time around, if they meet that expectations, they will completely bypass the option right here and will reach you as though your do not disturb mode is not even on. Now, this is a really decent option for emergencies. Usually people will spam call you and this will allow them to reach you. So, once you have set it all up the way you want to, you can simply leave this area, never come back to it again, as long as you don't want to change any settings. And from now, you can simply interact with the toggle right here. Turn it on or off whenever you want it. And that is how you would set it up and use it. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.